Hey guys, welcome back to another JavaScript uh, programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about JSON in JavaScript, how to use it, and why it's actually really uh, popular in JavaScript. So let's just go to JSON. And yeah, uh, I didn't actually know this, but J JSON actually originated from JavaScript. Like, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, which is why it's actually very, like, when you use it in JavaScript, it's very simple and very easy to use. So I'm just going to create my script.js here. And let's just create that in there. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to use JSON in JavaScript. So let's just say we had some kind of, um, let's just say we had some data here. Uh, I'm just going to have an object. So let's say person. And this is just going to have a name, an age and a gender and let's say if we were to console.log this person oh, like this we would get the person like that so that's nice but we can't actually store this anywhere to be represented somewhere else uh, because this is a JavaScript object and we want to be able to store it as a string that's where JSON actually comes in so we can actually store this as JSON string and then all we have to do is we JSON dot stringify and we just pass in our object and now if I just console on both of them like this let's just console on both of these we can see that we get this first one which is the JavaScript object and then we get the second one which is actually a string so I'm gonna copy this string and we'll just put this in here and now what I'm going to do is delete all of this. So now let's say we're taking this on another app. Uh, let's say we're just getting this from an API. All we have to do is, this is our JSON string. So let's say const JSON string equals this. And I'll just put that in there. Actually, we need to put it into single quotation marks so we can store all these other double quotes. And then what we can do is we can actually get the original person object from this. So we can actually just do person equals json dot pass json string just like that and now we can console dot log this nice and easy and we've got the original person back so you'll notice that json is actually a lot easier to work with than in some other languages and that's actually because um, obviously it originated in javascript and you'll be using json a lot when uh, when using the web because it's mainly built upon APIs and things which return things in JSON so you can basically pass anything into this like let's say we have something like a dictionary uh, let's just have a dictionary like this and I'm just going to leave it empty like that I mean an object is basically the same thing as a dictionary but we'll just leave it like that so let's say key1 equals object1 and then let's say uh, that's not actually an object, that's a, let's just call this string1 and then let's have key2 let's have this to a list of just some numbers and yeah let's just console.log this dictionary okay just like that and then all we can do is we can get the json string equals json.stringify dictionary and then we can console.log this and we get this back and then obviously we can actually just put this back into the thing so past dictionary equals json.pass and yeah oh. so I'm sure you guys know the advantages of json is just because it allows you to pass things around without having to worry about specific languages, uh, syntax and things, and we, we can just move things around uh, the internet, just like this. So this is how you use JSON in JavaScript, really simple, just use json.pass and json.stringify. The names also pretty much mean what they say. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!